Welcome to Freema. Welcome back to the Vermontian. My name is Joshua. Do I still have to say that every time? Minus 30 for questioning our methods. Can you believe that there's only one more week of school left? Woo! I'm almost done grading. That's crazy. We're almost done with the school year. Let's get this show on the road and let's make like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Glow. Did you have fun at Winter Formula? To find out, let's check out the polls and fun facts department. Roll the tape. Welcome to Vermontian number six. In light of the Winter Formal dance that took place last Saturday, we will go asking students that went to a formal dance what was the best part of the dance. Today I'm here with? Jaylene. All right, Jaylene. In your opinion, what was the best part of the dance? I guess it was like on a rooftop and it looked really nice. In my opinion, the best part of the dance was the view and the food. I'd say the scenery, it looked really nice, um, especially at night with all the lights and everything. That was actually really good. The South Clyde Rapper came out, you know, I was hyping him up. Yeah. <laughs> well, the best part of the Winter Formal this year was definitely the view of uh, downtown LA, definitely, and just the vibes, were, the vibes were different, right? And the vibes were definitely there that night. The best part of the dance was the food, definitely. For me, I like eating, I like the tacos with the, they give out quesadillas too, I think. <laughs> From the, the view too, yeah. the rooftop, I think that was nice. Man, Winter Formal was so popping that even the clothes and events department wants a piece of the pie. For more on Winter Formal and other events here at school, let's slide on over to the clothes and events department. Ho, ho, ho! Hello everyone and welcome to our Fremontian number six segment. Thank you for who attended the Winter Formal. And if you didn't attend, don't worry, we got you. The formal was in downtown LA on a rooftop. They gave out delicious food and were very well organized. The Snow Queen was Shamaya, congrats. Wanna get to Santa's nice list? We have a hygiene drive to help out the homeless in need. Now cue the interview. Hi, I'm Ms. Manugian, the LSJ lead teacher, and I work with our student leadership team on various projects to um, bring social justice to the Fremont community. Today I have some questions for you. Can you answer them for me? Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Where can you donate the supplies? So the supplies are being donated here in room 155 on the first floor of the main building. When is the last day to donate? Friday, December 17th, basically the last day of school. What items can you give? Um, any type of toiletries, toothbrushes, um, hairbrushes, hand sanitizer, face masks, um, anything basically that will help our homeless population, our unhoused population. When is the donate drive? Where can someone go if they want to volunteer? So if um, you want to volunteer, we'll need help probably sorting some of the items and you can come to room 155 and it's running from now until the end of school. Okay. Thank you for your time. You are very welcome. Christmas is coming soon here as the day passes by. Make sure you cherish and spend time with your families and friends. This is all for closing events. See you, see you guys next time. Bye. Class of 2022, we have some news for you. We had an interview with the ASB president at Winter Formal. Geez, I guess everyone was at Winter Formal, including obviously yours truly. Let's get some B-roll. On this segment of Senior Announcements, we decided to interview ASB president on Winter Formal. That's it. Hello, today we're here with ASB president, America. Hello. Okay, so we're gonna ask you a few questions. Okay. Who was allowed to attend winter formal? All students that were vaccinated or at least had their first dose. What happened during winter formal? Kids were able to dance and have tacos. When did winter formal take place? Winter formal took place this past Saturday on the 4th of December. Where did winter...
turf form will take place. It took place at the 1010 rooftop venue. Um, how is it possible for us to have winter formal? <laughs> we, <were laughs> we were able to have winter formal because it was offered to us um, through district funds. Why didn't we have winter formal at school like homecoming? We had it at a venue because Dr. Whitman paid off for it. Okay, thank you for your time. You're welcome. You already know what time it is. It's time for sports, sports, sports. Sports, sports, sports. We sent the sports team to interview one of our very own varsity football stars, Makai. He brings many gifts in the forms of touchdowns. Roll it. Welcome back to Vermont Team Season 5, Episode 6. My name is Joshua, and I'm here with, today with... Makai. All right, Makai, so uh, tell us what you do and what sport you play and what position do you play? Um, I play football, running back, number three. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be turning that. Uh, playoff experience. Playoff is my best? Yeah. Um, I would say, yeah, this Jefferson game. Because uh -huh. it was like, I don't, all my years playing football, like, uh -huh. since like middle school, like, like, it ain't really never been like no game in the playoffs where like, it was this close. Like, uh -huh. Where it was just a close game from the start of the game to the end of the game. Like, uh -huh. usually like, it's either, we either got, we either lost, or we won, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like it was a blow, or we got blown out. Exactly. And so it was like this game, like it was like more memorable because it was like I was into it the whole game. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. So what, like, what were you thinking the whole game? What was going through your mind when you were like, playing on that field? We just can't lose. Like I was trying to do everything I can for my team and for like for us to win. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like like we all play a part. Everybody did their part. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We just. Like I said, we lost to ourselves. We were just making some mistakes. Definitely, yeah, that's definitely a thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you do you plan on continuing playing football in college, or do you plan, plan on continuing having any, any anything to do with football uh, later in the future? Uh, yeah, of course. Like, uh, yeah, people, my, like not too many people make it as far as me. So it's like I just want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Go to get get the whole education feeling. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like football, I'm for so. That's, yeah, I'm, that's something that's going to be a part of you for the rest of your yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so one last thing before we go. Do you have any any words for any any of our next upcoming Fremont uh, football players? Anything that you want to say? Before? But put in that work, like, take it serious. Like, y'all, like, all y'all got to be on that same page. Like, everybody take it serious. Off season, practice, everybody, like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just stuck it out. Y'all do what I got to do. Y'all gonna see the good outcome. Exactly. For sure. So, yeah. yeah. Everyone wanna know, why do you wear a different color helmet? <laughs> why would <laughs> Everyone wanna why know. Why would I, um, really? I wear a different helmet because I had bought my own helmet. Um, I was gonna get it spray painted the school color, but then it was like, I couldn't get it spray painted. <laughs> like, no, it just couldn't be, it couldn't be done in time for uh -huh. the season. So they were just like, you're gonna have to stuck it out white. This week, the variety team has a variety of gifts for you all. Hopefully, it's not Cole, because I know I behave this year. Yeah, and I'm six feet tall. You know what? Let's just make like a gingerbread man and crumble. Roll it. Ho, ho, ho. Hello again to all my friends. Can you believe it's December already? We're just a few days away from Christmas. I am absolutely delighted by some of the letters I've received from you all. Let's read some of them. This is a letter from Xenia. Dear Sansa, this year I would like a bike to ride on. I would also like a doll to play with. Lastly, I wish to have a house for my doll. Thank you, Sansa. Sincerely, Xenia. This is her letter. Ho, ho, ho. Thank you, Xenia, for that wonderful letter. This is a letter from Jaime. Dear Sansa, this Christmas I want a new skateboard and I also want clothes and change my name to X Jaime. Peace, Jaime. This is a letter from Daniel. Dear Sansa, I want a new laptop, one that isn't administrated by the school. I want a toy dinosaur and a Liverpool FC jersey signed by Mo Salah. I also want to be an inch taller. Ho ho ho, thank you Daniel for that terrific letter. This is a letter from Evelyn. 
Dear Sansa, I would like the new kitchen toy set I saw on this girl's YouTube channel. It's really pretty and I would be really super happy if I got, got it. Love, Evelyn. Ho ho ho, thank you Evelyn for that great letter. Thank you for all those wonderful letters. Wait, Santa, you have one more letter. Oh, okay, thank you. And this is from Mr. Reyes. Dear Sansa, all I ask this year is for all my students to be safe, healthy, and happy. However, a camera or two would be much appreciated for media class. Mr. Reyes. Ho ho ho, make sure you check under your tree this Christmas. I'm Santa Claus and I hope we all have a holly jolly merry Christmas. Ho ho ho. This week's uh, from Monty Spotlight highlights Magnet's very own coordinator, Miss Rodriguez. Did you know that she's a Fremont alumni and OG Pathfinder? For this and more on Miss Rodriguez, let's check out this interview. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Rodriguez and I am the Magnet coordinator for Fremont Steam Magnet. I have been a Magnet coordinator for three years at Fremont High School. I chose to become a Magnet coordinator because I love working on programs that give students different opportunities to learn about what they are passionate about and I think that's one of the things that we're able to do in the Magnet program. So Magnet coordinator, my job is to recruit. That is the major thing that I do for the Magnet program and making sure that the programs are running smoothly, that we make sure that all our students have the opportunity to do what they're passionate about. And so I get to visit all the middle schools around the area and meet all the incoming ninth graders and tell them about all the wonderful things that we do at our school. Outside of school, well, I do work in the community, so I try to get involved in different projects that are going on. So I help different organizations when they're fundraising for scholarships. I also work in infrastructure projects um, in Mexico. So I work with different organizations and we raise funds to rebuild schools, to pave streets, bring electricity, villages so that way they can have water. A lot of different projects that we are working on every year. And we also send medical equipment to people that need it in low income communities so that they are better able to move around and have improve their quality of life more than anything and that's one of the major things that we have been working on for the last couple of years. Okay. I think there's so many things that I want to tell our students but I think one of the major things that I want them to always remember is to strive for their best like make sure that they try their hardest in every class learn as much as they can because everything they learn can be useful later on and also to make sure that they always follow their dreams and try their best because I know that they can achieve so much more and finally, to always remember to come back and help out their community. I think it's really important for us to come back and help our community. That's the only way it's going to get better. And I think we need to be passionate about it and always come and help others. Thank you. This is been from Monty number six. My name is Joshua. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell for notifications every time we post a new video. Remember, here at the Mont, we find a path or we make one. Say it with me. One more week. One more week. One more week. Hang in there, everybody. We're out. Go this week's from Austin Spotlight highlights Magnus Corn. Yeah. Man, Winter Formal. <laughs> Man, Winter Formal was so popping that even the clubs and events department. Sorry. Man, Winter Formal was so popping that even the clubs and events. Oh my god. I'm just laughing. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Welcome to Prima.